What's good, YouTube? So check this out. I was at work today, and somebody was showing me on their phone, hey, look, they got real robots. Like, they really bringing out real robots. They want robots to take over. And I said to them, listen to me. They're called AI, artificial intelligence. Check this out real quick. Bear with me. Y'all see that? See how real she look? See how they acting like this is how they creating them in a laboratory? And like they ain't got real lower half of the body, but they got the top part perfected. Listen up. <clears throat> Back in the day, my aunt had this, uh, this doll where you could do her hair, right? And it was shoulder it was cut off at the shoulder so right here so from here up you could do the doll's hair you could do the makeup all right and the doll looked real and my grandmother always said oh that's horse hair you know the dolls barbie dolls all them dolls they was horse hair what i'm trying to make is that they perfected the face of these dolls to make them look like humans they perfected them back then with the plastic molding. Y'all, they've been ahead of the game. They're not, this is not something new. They have to make you think it's new. It's been out. Artificial intelligence been here. Laura Lee Blair, wherever you at in the world, blessings to you. We've been trying to tell these people, listen, when y'all get pulled over by some of these officers and y'all say he was this, she was that, the judge was this, the judge was that, y'all. And they got no emotion, no heart, no soul. No, let's don't say they racist. Don't say they prejudiced. Don't say they just don't like. No, it's a percentage of those uh, police officers and lawyers and judges that aren't human. They are artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence. Everybody think the movie I, Robot with Will Smith um, introduce that. No, you got Star Trek, the next generation with data. Their artificial intelligence machine that look like a human to help them do their adventures and explore space. All right. You had Alien. You had to do Bishop. He was, they called him, a, um, did they call him an android? I think they called him an android. Um, yeah, I think that's what they called him an android. Um, but he was he was artificial intelligence. All right. Um, and y'all thinking that this is something new. This is not new, y'all. I'm telling y'all, this is not new. It is not new at all. This is this is. It been here. Okay? Artificial intelligence been here. Them judges, them doctors, them lawyers, and etc. Telling y'all, them people, y'all say that, but they look, this is what he said to me, this is what you said to me. They really, it was like they didn't care. No, they can't care. They're designed not to care. They don't care. They have a job to do. They put people like that. They put them things in the position to carry out. And they look like me and you. Let me stop. I don't, I don't want to stop there with the iRobot because y'all think iRobot with Wilson. No. I told you Star Trek. And I told you the movie Alien with Sigourney Weaver with the dude Bishop. Okay. It was an android. But listen to this. Terminator. All right. Now, they showing y'all these robots and this robotic engineering technology, which they have that here in... Uh, Pennsylvania, um, they got a robotics engineering facility. Um, let's get off of that, but y'all seen the robot. I just showed y'all where it showed her face. Then like back here, it was all wires and this and then listen, y'all. Then they said the only thing this thing need is skin. Terminator with Arnold Schwarzenegger. He was endoskeleton, alloy metal, Titanium and some other metals. Alright. And he had skin around him. 
The only way you knew he was a machine was when he was getting shot at and grenades thrown at him and it would just burn off the skin. And then it got to the point towards the end of the movie, he was so wounded, he just started pulling it off and then boom, now you see the machine behind him. So the skin, they, would, they, they tried to tell you then. In the past TV shows and movies, don't get me wrong, yes, but that movie basically broke it down to you, but y'all thought it was just a movie. You know, you, you, oh, this is a crazy man on a motorcycle. No, these people, look, people, y'all walk by them every day. Y'all walk by these people every day, and you say, oh, that bitch ain't even say hi. That motherfucker looked at me, y'all, that's because that's not a motherfucker and that ain't a bitch. It looked like a motherfucker and it looked like a bitch. You understand? But that's something totally different. You can't sink your mind into that or believe it because every time a TV come on, they tell you, oh, we're inventing this. We're inventing. No, they already invented that before you came into wearing diapers. All right. You look, you touch your phones, you sending pictures to people from to other states, other countries. You telling me they ain't already got AIs? Y'all, they been here. You get a cop, get out of the car, you say he was all stiff. He was all you just said it right there. He was all stiff when he looked at me and said, like, Oh, you doing uh, you know. Some and look, y'all know there are and this is kind of hard for some of y'all to accept as well. Um, and I don't want to freak y'all out. And I might not freak y'all out. But when a cop pull you over. Now, Arnold Schwarzenegger had what they call a database. And whenever he pulled, when he when he rolled up on somebody, he was looking for John Carter. And I told y'all in my last video about the, um, uh, it was a game. Watch Dogs. They are the watchdogs. Well, and it would zoom in. Every, it, voice and face recognition. And it would look you in the eye and it was a little square would come around and it would focus and it would tell if that was you and it would check your face, your size, your weight, all of that. Right? Well, that's what most policemen are. It's cops riding with AIs and they don't even know he an AI. What are you going to do? Say, let me cut your arm open and see if you're a robot? No. Nah. He look like you, act like you, smell like you. Crazy, right? Take my word for it. They've been here. They've been here. So whenever they pull certain people over, y'all don't know what's going through that machine's mind. And he's sitting there reading you and eyeing you up. And you think he really jumped on you because you was running your mouth. And then these people that do lose their life behind police brutality. It was meant for that person to go, and it's sad to say it hurt me and you, but that machine had a job to do. And they y'all, y'all, they taking out bloodlines as well. Y'all, that's something else y'all don't know about. A lot of people speaking on things and they don't know the full, the full of it. Know the full and or just deliver some and like I'm I'ma do I'ma do some I'ma do some more research and look. Nine times out of ten, look, I ain't even gonna say that. Y'all researching is not gonna help you. Only thing you can research is what they saying. But what you gotta understand, go off of what you sense, what you know. Okay, what you see. You see it every day. You know you walk down the street and that man jumped up on that wall and he looked like he about 80 and you younger than him and he, what the hell he just do? And you act like you ain't seen do that. Y'all, they got them bums on the corner holding up signs. And you think they bums and homeless. No, that ain't some man. Some of them get away with it, yeah. With um being actually wealthy off of living like that. But some of them people y'all think is people. They're not people. It's a test. It's a game. We in the Matrix. Y'all in the Matrix, listen to me. The ride in the Matrix, it is going to get crazier. Anything is possible in the Matrix. They, they got a game called Grand Theft Auto. You could change your character's look. Oh, that's a message there. You could change the size of him. That's a message there. Okay? 
You could do a lot of things with this character. You could be rich. You could be a billionaire. You could be broke, robbing people. You could just go around doing everything in this free world. That's the world right here we living in. They telling you. All right. They even somebody say, well, that, that ain't true because they die in the game. They come back. But we die here. We don't come back. Yeah, you do. You just don't come back here. You don't die. You go elsewhere. You never die. You spawn. You respawn. In another you. Where you is. Same as when y'all go to sleep at night. Like I told you before. When you go to sleep at night. You ain't you. That's what they call sleep. But those places you, you visit. When you your eyes is closed. And you sleeping for the night. Those places is real. I woke up crying. Plenty of times. Some, some dreams. You know what I'm saying. I felt some dreams. A lot of feeling and it wasn't it wasn't nice um, but anyway that is what i wanted to speak on about the ai's y'all call them ai's artificial intelligence it's been here it's been here and it's cool i ain't i'm not afraid of it you know i'm glad i see now i didn't see back then everything we watched on tv we used to watch that you thought no that wasn't just a movie that was a message for you you just didn't pick up on it. But bypass that, I've seen them in action. I've seen AIs in action. I've seen one fail. When I say fail, not fall like he fell, his system crashed. And then he like rebooted right in front of me. Right in front of me, this was a cop. That's all I got to say. Stay blessed, y'all. Keep your eyes open.